Hey guys, uh, we're back with a uh, quick little update with this uh, telephone from Argentina, uh, 1971 Intel uh, Standard Electric uh, TLF 300. So I've got the base cleaned up and all the uh, internals cleaned up as well. I didn't need to clean up the uh, PC board, it's actually pretty decent. But I had to polish it because it, uh, it was pretty uh, scuffed up, so... You can see that it's pretty clean now and the sticker residue is gone. I just need to figure out uh, what to get as far as feet for this telephone. Probably get some stick on ones or I could probably find the correct insertable ones online. Just gotta find the right size and I should be good. But I wanted to do this update, especially uh, regarding the dial. So I decided to do away with the uh, plastic retainer. I don't even know where I put it, but I tried gluing up the little tabs on the side and they just wouldn't work. So what I did is I got one of these, uh, one of these like this. This belonged to another Siemens dial and some other German dials that I'd used for uh, parts. And I fitted one of these on here. I'll show you how I did it. It's a little bit ghetto looking, but it's a lot more stable than having a plastic one where you have the risk of breaking. So you'll see that uh, I fit the same screws in the same uh, in the same holes where the old plastic one fit. And I know it looks really bad, but this is like from a contact from a dial. This is kind of like to hold it down a bit. Probably find something better because it's still unstable, but it fits better and I don't have to worry about this breaking anymore. So it's a lot more stable than the plastic one was. Another thing, uh, you, uh, I said this is a uh, stamp 1979 on this dial, but if you look closely, I actually have this uh, overhead light on. You can see right, it's not coming out very well, but right here it says 0481. So they, they stamped it. I'm guessing this is a uh, dial was made over in Italy where it was imported and they over there stamped it. You know, 47, that's the production date. But then they, when they went to uh, put this in this telephone, they did uh, uh, April of 1981 for this specific uh, date for the assembly of this telephone for the Intel. Because it, because I said it shows uh, Intel right here as well. I'm not sure what this is, but not be a model number or such. But that's, that's, uh, it's a melted uh, stamp, it looks like. But uh, I adjust the dial as well, so it's uh, it's been oiled. I used a uh, pin oiler like this one. This is the one I used. And I also got the pair of tweezers. Where is it? I used this tweezer here. Take out the spring of the uh, governor here by uh, Taking out this little cover, this hole here, allows you to uh, stick a pin oiler and oil the governor and all those gears. It was a little bit of work. I had to use a light and it could look everything through one eye, but I managed to get it. I bent it out a little bit so that it's spinning uh, at 10 pulses per second now, which is uh, good. It was a little bit of work, but I'm glad that's over with and nothing... Nothing broke in the dial, which is good. And as you know, I don't like these dials very much. But you can see it's a little bit loose right now. I'll probably use something different to hold this dial in place. But I'll spin the dial for you. It's spinning better, it's faster, and it's, I guess you could say it's smoother. But that's a little update. I also uh, polished up the housing. It's still yellow, but it's a lot better than it was before. It shows you that this is the original color of the gray. I also took out the uh, the wiring diagram. I went and scanned it with my iPhone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to post it on the classic Rory Phones forum telephone wire wiring diagram section. So uh, it could be for reference for anybody who needs it. So that'll be in the little archives. So yeah, that's the little update. I got the line cord cleaned up as well. So I'll be installing that in a bit just to try to get tested. All I need to do left is clean up the uh, handset cord. It's got a little split here, as you can see. And uh, 
I got the handset parts in the water right now, and I'm getting ready to take those out and polish them. So that's what will be coming next. And uh, I think uh, there won't be any more updates on this telephone other than uh, I'll have the final checkout video. So I hope you enjoyed this quick five minute video or almost six minute video. And uh, next will be the final checkout video and stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching.